criticism, then I'll give you some, some props. And that is, you know, I feel sorry for the Stonebrook people because of the tax increases they have. I feel sorry for all the people because of the inflation and all of our taxes going up. But I get frustrated with the board when I see we have a problem with Lee Callis, so automatically we got enough money to hire some security guards for Lake Callis. And I think Matthew Carr, you were the one that got all the props for being such a good guy to do that a couple weeks ago. The other thing that frustrates me for, or does, is now I see we're going to, you want some property across the street, almost $300,000. Across the street from where we now are sitting. And you're going to build a new township hall. You've got a beautiful property where you are. You've got a beautiful building. It's all brick. And when I read the legitimate things that you're going to, or the reasons why you're going to do it, I see three things. One, you need a roof. Number two, you got rodents. And number three, you got cockroaches. Now, if every person in this community was to build a new house because they needed a roof and they got cockroaches and rodents, I don't know where we would be. So what I'm saying to you folks as a board, you can find money for all these things, and you can build a new township hall that we don't need. I'm not going to cuss. That we don't need. Now I'm going to give you the where I think that you're right. And that is, we can't do any, you can't do anything about this issue because this issue started three years ago. We all know where it started. The inflation that is caused from it as well happened three years ago. The only thing I say to these people is, these folks can't do anything. This is coming from the federal government. It's not a surprise, it's just in your backyard now. So all you can do is get out and vote and get these people out of office. No voting doesn't work, they rig the elections. Jenkins, 8490 Oakwood Road. Um, you know, I'm, like everybody else, I'm pissed off about this. I raised my family. I've lived here for 25 years. I've raised a beautiful family here because there's no crime, great community, great schools. And I'm pissed off about our country, honestly, because that's, that last gentleman hit it exactly right. Um, Make no mistake, this is a concerted effort by the government. And if you don't believe that, Coordinated. You do some research. Um, so what can we do as a community, a small community like us? Number one, we gotta start to get, starts with you guys, right? And I know your power is pretty limited, right? But we need to reach out to all of our local politicians and start putting pressure on them Right? Whether you believe they're going to do anything or not, we have to maybe boycott Myers. Right? And Greyhound. Look what Bud Light did, right? If you don't like something, quit freaking buying stuff. Quit shopping there. We have Kroger's. And I agree with the other young lady that said something about we're, we're boycotting. We're, we're put science out in front of them. Put them out of business. We have to make a presence known. And, you know, I'm not about, I'm about coordination and getting things done. Violence is not the answer. Well, sometimes it is. I'm telling you, if this is not answered, if this is not taken control of, there's going to be much, much bigger issues down the road. And nobody wants to. We're not a sanctuary city, right? Right? Do we have any in Michigan? Lansing. So I think we know what we got to do. We got to reach out to politicians. We need you guys, your, your help. We need everybody's help. The sheriff's help. All the politicians' help. Start boycotting Myers. Hit him in the pocketbook. This can't go on. I got a grandbaby on the way. I don't want my family going to my house. What about boycotting Greyhound? Thank you. I appreciate you putting it on uh, the agenda. I'm James Baber, 2035 Ashford Drive here in Davidson. I also appreciate 
couple of the board members that answered a text request for some of this explanation. I also thank Davison Missionary for opening up this church and allowing us. This is really, this is really what the community is all about. This is my church, and I'm proud to be a member, attend this church, and I encourage everyone to, if you don't have a church home, then stop in and check us out on a Sunday. Thank you for putting this. Uh, it was buried in the agenda, according to Facebook posts that I happen to see, even though I'm not on Facebook. But you guys were... It was old print. It's something that you opened uh, the meeting, moved it to here. So I, I do thank you for that. I, I do want to address my fellow Americans. I'm proud to be an American. Because of what I see here today, this is the way a system, not perfect, and, and maybe broke sometimes, but this is the way a system works, is that we, the people, come together. And so many people share tonight about maybe taking a, a more aggressive stance. But I really think as many people who are sitting here tonight that wish you could speak, there are many of us that will speak for you. And what we expect is that you will listen to us. And that you, and I do know that you're living in this community, you don't want this either. Okay, well, I'll call you out. Matt, Lori, you're both attorneys, and I know that attorneys are like doctors now. Don't ask your general, your, your, your family doctor to perform surgery on you if it's very complex, but you are attorneys. You did not leave your ability to be able to see because that's what you went into law for. So we're asking you to represent us now, and I believe you are the township attorney, so I really am encouraging you to do your job and figure out how you can defend us against this. I do appreciate, Chief, I do appreciate you saying that, that my rights as a citizen are going to be protected as you being a chief, just as the people that are getting off the bus, but we also hear we the people, we need, we need you to step up and help us here, please. And I do believe that Meyer, a boycott of Meyer, if not the Davison Meyer alone, but maybe all in general, I will not forget that Meyer, and I, I just gave them a chance again, because they're the ones that told me that I couldn't shop there unless I was wearing a mask. So I went to Kroger, and Kroger never made me wear a mask. And so I just started going back to Meyer, and now this is... I would never go back there. And I will not forget whether or not you voted for Trump or not, but Peter Meyer... The Meyer family voted twice to impeach Trump. Mm -hmm. So let's not forget that, folks. So let's just go ahead. I'll move on from Meyer. I'm going to move on from Meyer. And I hope we, the people, can bond together and to make something positive. And it's within the law that we do that. So I do appreciate being an American tonight. I really do.